Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you as we get closer to the hurricane season for subscribing. Over 700,000 subscribers on the channel. I do believe it's the best uh, uh, weather community out there, so thank you for subscribing and being part of that. I do want to touch on the upcoming hurricane season and the biggest warm-up of the winter so far. I'll show you that in a second. Now, what I watch uh, in advance of the hurricane season in particular are these water temperatures, the fluctuations in them, and the heat content. That is one of the biggest keys of the hurricane season. Uh, with that said, we saw that become a huge factor last season with Hurricane Barrel, which was an early season devastating uh, hurricane. So I monitor everything even in the off season. Right now, water temperatures, of course, we are in winter. They have cooled down, running at 27 degrees Celsius, about 80, 81 degrees Fahrenheit in the Caribbean. Temperatures have been colder uh, right near Texas, Louisiana, even back through Mississippi, Alabama, Panhandle of Florida. That's because uh, a week and a half ago or so, uh, there was that snow, that southern snow. Now, this is the seven-day temperature trend. I watch the fluctuations in the water. The blue, that's where things have cooled off, like in Trinidad. But as you get around Florida, swinging all the way back through Texas, what that orange shading, red shading, water temperatures have warmed up. That makes sense because, again, a week and a half ago, it was freezing cold with the snow. The last week or so, it's been warmer, and we're seeing the water temperatures rebounding uh, in some spots. Now, the heat content, I know this is a little confusing, uh, but the heat content in the water is, it's not just what I look for is the warm water. That's what hurricane uh, hurricanes feed off of, but it's the depth of the warm water. So if the warm water extends way down, that's a problem because as the hurricanes go over these areas, uh, it just churns up water. Sometimes it churns up cooler water, that's a good thing, but if the warm water is substantially deep, uh, that's uh, yeah, high heat content in the hurricanes like we saw with Barrel last season feed off of that. So this time of year, I keep an eye on the heat content and I monitor how it's building and where it is building. Right now, near Jamaica, for example, you see the yellow shadings popping up. While the water temperatures have cooled off, it's still pretty warm as you get down deep. So that's an area I'll be watching. Of course, Eastern Caribbean where we saw a uh, Barrel come through. But just know that behind the scenes, I'm watching everything leading up to the upcoming hurricane season. That heat content is running a little bit higher than usual once again. So I'll be watching out for that over the next uh, couple of months. Now, getting into this big winter warm up, the next winter systems, we've had one system rolling by the Atlantic region to Canada over toward California, the Pacific Northwest of the United States, uh, over toward uh, British Columbia, big systems moving in. You could see another one right here flooding in Northern uh, California. So watching a lot of activity here. I'll be watching how these progress. There's the system. I'll zoom down into the Atlantic region of Canada, Bermuda in a second. Now this front is not dipping way down into the Caribbean. Pretty substantial system, parts of New England, kind of a, a quick mover over toward parts of uh, Canada. But the front itself is basically to the north. That keeps us on the warm side. But we've had areas of showers around uh, Puerto Rico, Trinidad, uh, Dominica, uh, Jamaica over the last few days. Nothing super crazy, but we've been watching out for areas of showers. Same thing in Belize. So let's start wide here, and then I'll show you how the uh, warm-up plays into this. Here's the front, and you see the tail end of it just weakening near Bermuda and the Bahamas. So we stay warm and windy in spots of the Eastern Caribbean. And here are those larger systems moving into the western United States and western Canada here. So we'll watch that moisture kind of progressing across. Now let's go out ahead in time. This here is by Monday. By Monday, you see a couple little systems, but they're mainly up to the north. So with that, we see this surge of warm air, which I'll be able to show you, and then still watching out for these systems once again rolling in. It's going to be one after another. Big story setting up here. You see California once again, and even over toward the rest of the Rocky Mountains, Watching out for that, some of that snow in the higher terrain. This here is by Thursday. Still another system here. And here's one working by. This one will be a pretty fast mover. Parts of New England, the mid-Atlantic of the United States. But these are up here. So we continue to have that southerly flow that moves in. Unlike what we saw a couple weeks ago with those systems diving way down, these are moving more west to east and staying substantially up to the north, uh, parts of the United States and parts of Canada as they kind of curl up. So going out ahead of time, uh, this would be by next weekend, February 8th, and you see these little systems moving by 
but note that they don't dive down and another system trying to roll into the Pacific Northwest of the United States. We'll be watching out for some increased uh, rain though in parts of the uh, Caribbean. So monitoring that and I'll show you those. I'll show you the jet stream and that big warm up in a moment, but watching out for a few spotty showers kind of hit or miss Antigua, Barbuda with those winds. Even if we get one uh, down through Dominica, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, generally fast movers, St. Lucia, Barbados, a couple showers hit or miss for us in Jamaica. Watching out for a few showers, Panama, Nicaragua, uh, Costa Rica still believes in Honduras. We'll see some of those spotty showers around. This here is by tomorrow. See a little green on the map. Belize, Honduras, watching a few showers. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, British and U.S. Virgin Islands, passing shower. Trinidad, Barbados, same thing hit or miss shower that will be in the forecast for Sunday. And then as we work forward into next week, just watching out for those spotty showers. Again, the big fronts, they are up to the north. So you see a few areas of rain. Watch out for a couple showers. Nicaragua, uh, the Dominican Republic, over toward uh, Guadalupe, Martinique, Dominica. We may see a couple of those passing showers possible. Now here's the jet stream. Now the jet stream, a big flow of air, very fast uh, up above our heads. That's where the storm systems like to travel. And for the most part, the jet I know this map's a little bit different. The most, For the most part, the jet stream is well to the north of the Caribbean, up into the central and or northern parts of the United States. So that's why I mentioned most of the action moving west to east and not diving down as far to the south. Well, that does play into the water temperature or the uh, air temperatures, and you can see it here. And then I want to jump out ahead in time, just where you see the yellows, the oranges, the deeper reds. That's the warm air, the Arctic air, right through much of Canada, dipping down into parts of the United States. This kind of bluish gray shading that we're seeing in there. So let's go ahead in time. It's only going to get warmer as we go over the next week or so. Watch this. This here is by next weekend. Look at those deeper reds parts of Mexico, Texas, swinging back toward Florida, Cuba. It is going to get warm. Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, much of Central America. We're going to warm up further in the Caribbean. So an even bigger surge of warmer air. This will be the biggest warm up we've had this winter. So big warm surge moving in as we work our way into the upcoming weekend. And we'll be tracking that together as we go throughout the week ahead. All right, north side of everything, watching the Atlantic region to Canada, Avalon Peninsula today, getting brushed by some of those rain showers. Then we got a couple little quick systems uh, coming out of uh, parts of uh, Ontario and uh, Quebec. And you see this just diving down toward the Great Lakes. These are not big ones. Bermuda, as even the fronts move in, they weaken. So our rain chance isn't going to be super high. But you see these little systems, New York here, uh, back through Pennsylvania. But there's the front that's moving by Bermuda. Yeah, we may catch a couple showers, but just the tail end of it. And then watching this action that's going to be moving in from the west, just watching how this progresses as we go through the week. But as all of this is happening here, we're going to be watching out for the big warm up south of it, but you see a couple little systems that will be scooting by over toward Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, back toward parts of New England and those bigger systems uh, over toward California and the uh, western United States. Now with those winds, with all of the action up here, those swells work in the Atlantic passageways, watching the Atlantic waters, they're going to be high, just ticking ahead into Monday. And you see again, uh, everything stays on the elevated side. This is Tuesday. The seas stay on the choppier side, Atlantic waters right through the uh, Caribbean. So heads up there with that flow coming in that will be out of the east. Now rain totals are not going to be high. Even if we get some showers for the most part, uh, you could see either nothing or maybe up to an inch of rain or 25 millimeters of rain, but generally dry Bahamas, Cuba, hit or miss for us. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, we could get a couple spotty showers. And then the eastern end of the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, we may get a couple spots getting around half of an inch of rain. That will be a possibility over the next few days. Same thing Dominica South, right through Trinidad. So not super high rain totals, but there'll be some showers around and the rain overall has dropped off in uh, Guyana and Suriname, but still watching near Belize, Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, and swinging back toward the Caribbean coastal waters, Costa Rica, Panama, for some totals that may top out around 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain, even a couple showers near Mexico City favoring the uh, east side. So the rain chance holding at about 40% for us the next couple of days across Jamaica, Cayman Islands, we're looking at a 30 
30% chance, 20 to 30% chance, not super high uh, for us in uh, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, passing shower this weekend, and about a 40% chance the next couple of days in St. Lucia, easterly flow with us. 20% chance staying in Grenada, 30% chance tomorrow, and a 40% chance the next couple of days, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance today in Martinique, we're running at 40%, 40% chance that's going to hold in Dominica, passing showers. Uh, same thing in Guadeloupe, 40% chance tomorrow, 30% chance on Monday. Rain chance about 20 to 30 percent. Antigua, Barbuda, there's been a couple showers around. I've been watching that from overnight. 30 percent chance St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. 30 percent chance in Anguilla. Now a couple showers possible. St. Martin, St. Ben Station, but the rain chance overall is on the low side. But Puerto Rico, we bump up to about a 40 percent chance for tomorrow. And some of the showers brushing us by, as I showed you earlier, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Bahamas, though, rain chance is on the low side. Turks and Caicos, rain chance on the low side. A lot of sunshine, and then we'll see that warming trend through the week ahead. Eastern end of the Dominican Republic, couple showers, mainly dry though as we work our way over to uh, Port-au-Prince and uh, Haiti down through Jacmel. Belize, we could get some of those scattered showers passing by over toward Ladyville and Belize City. Rain chance about 30%, 20 to 30%. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire may catch a shower with that easterly breeze. See that 30 to 40% chance in Guyana the next couple of days. It will bump up though. You see Suriname by Monday. We're up to about a 50% chance. Mainly dry as we swing back through Cuba. Warmer as we get into next week. Costa Rica, Panama, 40% chance. Still some scattered showers around Nicaragua. Uh, scattered showers possible. Parts of Honduras, a 40 to 50% chance, including the islands. Guatemala and El Salvador. Rain chance stays on the low side. And eastern side of Mexico City. Mexico City to the east, better chance of a few showers. 40% chance across the Yucatan Peninsula. Northern Colombia, rain chance not super high. More to the south, better chance of rain. Same thing in northern Venezuela. And even though we have fronts moving by in Bermuda, the rain chance is not very high. So these cold fronts fall apart. We're watching that one near Canada, but draped near Bermuda today falling apart. So the warm pattern will continue. Tracking some of those areas of rain and those big systems in the western United States. We'll watch together through the week ahead, how they progress uh, uh, as they kind of move across. And we'll be tracking that big time warm up on the way, plus more information on that upcoming hurricane season. Thank you for being with me and have a great weekend ahead.